USA, the greatest entertainers in America, is requested by you, the service men and women of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command performance presented this week and every week till it's over, over there. Okay there, gang, we're answering those letters of yours to Command Performance, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. And get ready to duck because we're throwing the book at you tonight. Incidentally, the APO and FPO numbers, the personal column, and the screwball nicknames are filed down to a nub this evening. There's just too much clam bake for one half hour. Yes, sir, if this were a bridge game, north would be Betty Hutton, south would be Gypsy Rose Lee, east would be Bing Crosby, and the fourth of a great foursome, or the dummy, your good friend Bob Hope. Much. Hiya, fellas. This is Bob Command Performance Hope telling you soldiers and sweater girls sometimes foolish guys so don't let them pull the wool over your G.I.s. <laughs> Take it on the lamb. Well, spring is here. This is the time of the year you see couples walking in the park, the fellow with his arm around the girl and the guy from the draft board with his arm around the fella. <laughs> spring is really here. I just got back in town from Camp Han and boys had hopped down there. You should see the major's summer uniforms, just in Oakley. It's really wonderful. <laughs> you want a job? <laughs> I stayed overnight at Han, and they gave me swell accommodations at the camp, parlor, bedroom, and right down the company street. <laughs> it's a great camp down there. There's a girls' college right next to the base, and the only thing that separates the college girls from the soldiers is a 15-foot wall. Han is now the only camp in the country that has a pole vault battalion. <laughs> I went 14 feet myself, but they... <laughs> and they have a great camouflage unit there. It's the first time I ever saw a tree walk away from a dog. <laughs> Love I... I saw a long line of soldiers, and I went up to them and said, Gee, this is great. I suppose you've heard Bob Hope gets here in ten minutes. And one of them said, Yeah, we've heard. Get in line. The bus leaves in five. <laughs> but they finally closed the gates, and I did my show for a chemical warfare battalion. And they elected me Mr. Mustard Gas of 1944. <laughs> I'm hot stuff, ain't I? <laughs> I, uh... I finally decided to go to the PX. I asked for directions. They told me to follow the red line. I followed the red line for two hours before I found out it was a mess sergeant and his ketchup was leaking. <laughs> I followed the mess sergeant into the kitchen. Right there in the frying pan was a big fat ham with a thin piece of bacon wrapped around it. Looked like a wrestling match between Crosby and Sinatra. <laughs> I do. Speak of the ham and it appears. There you are. Yeah. You banding my name about again? Well, it's old happy throat Bing Crosby. How about that, huh? Button eyes. How are you, Dad? <laughs> How do you feel? You didn't have to come formal, you know. Well, I slept into something real crappy tonight. Slept in the stable again. Go ahead. Take it. What brings you to command performance with my line, Harry? Yes. I came on my usual conveyance. I've tried one of my steeds. Late again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Bing, how are your kids? Oh, they're fine. The only horse breeder in the world who raises his own jockeys. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I've been hearing strange things about you. I heard that you're playing havoc with the literary world. <laughs> Rumor has it that you've just written a book. Yeah, surprise? Nauseated. <laughs> 
What do you expect me to do, turn green with envy? What's the difference with the clothes you wear? It'll never show. <laughs> Tell me, old boy. <laughs> old boy, when does this varicose volume of yours hit the sand? When does it do? <laughs> In about two months. That's good. Give the publisher plenty of time to get out of the country, huh? <laughs> Who is the brave publisher? Uh, Simon, Suspenders, and Schuster. <laughs> I've heard of Simon and Schuster, but... Who got suspenders into the firm? A Schuster. He doesn't want to be caught with his pants down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Suspenders, huh? Suspenders. You know, if they publish the book, they may all do a stretch. <clears throat> What's the, what's the name of the book, Robert? Ah, uh, it's called I Never Left Home. Oh, that book. Oh. You know, I read an advanced copy of I've Never Left Home. Well, what did you think? Leave home, old boy. <laughs> well, let's get away from this trivia, eh? Cleaver kisser? I... <laughs> I feel like singing tonight. I feel like Nelson Eddy. Uh, you look like him, too. Hmm? Of course, you're a little dumpier around the shortening brand. Not too here? <laughs> But if you must sing, go ahead. I'll go out for a smoke. Go ahead. <laughs> You'll find the butts a little longer down by the bus stop. <laughs> Gang, a couple of you have asked for a tune that we do in a new flicker called The Going My Way. It's a tune called Swinging on a Star, and aided and abetted by those swell music maids in Lee. We'll knock it for you. Major? <laughs> Would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a mule? A mule is an animal with long, funny ears, picks up at anything here. His back is broad and brand is weak. Just plain stupid with a southern streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you might grow up to be a mule. Oh, what you like to swing on a star, carry moon dreams home in a jar, and be better off than you are. Oh, would you rather be a pig? A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. Shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. Why, man, he's fat and he's lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a pig, you might grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star? Carry moon seeds home in a jar. And be better off than you are. You'd rather be a fish. A fish won't do anything but swim in a bird. You can't write his name or read a book. To fool the people is his only thought. And now then, though he is slippery, why, he always gets caught. But then, if that sort of life is what you wish, you might grow up to be a fish. <laughs> Kind of jump up slippery feet, and all the monkeys are in the zoo. Every day you meet quite a few, so you see it's all up to you. You can be better than you are. You could be swinging on a star. 